Hey kids, for those of you who don't have the budget, and most importantly, the space to have a dedicated green screen studio, or even so much as a small dedicated corner, we kind of have to make do with the fact that our temporary makeshift green screen is probably going to be badly lit and winkly and shitting. You'll be happy to know that you can still get very decent chroma keys by following these three tips. Tip number one, always create a garbage mat first. It is really easy. I'm going to teach you how to do it later on. Tip number two, never, ever use the output from key light directly. Use it only as a Luma mat cutout. Tip number three, don't expect to key out all the greens at one go. Don't expect to key out all the greens at one go. Don't expect to key out all the greens at one go. If you follow through these three tips, you can have the worst green screen ever and still make it work. Keep this video, it's going to be useful for you in the long run. Let us start by learning how to create a garbage mat first. Here we have a sample clip from my previous video that you can watch by clicking on this link. This will be the clip we'll be using to learn everything that I'll be teaching you in this video. You can download this clip in the description. I'll be putting a link there. All right, garbage mat. Why garbage mat? Look at the horrific amount of different shades of green we have to remove here. It's atrocious. We will never be able to get a clean cut from this shit unless we reduce the amount of greens we have to remove to a minimum by executing a mass removal of all the irrelevant greens from the video leaving us only the green that is directly next to the body for super refined removal later on. The resulting output is thus called the garbage mat. It goes like this. Apply key light to your video. Pick a green for the screen color. Then proceed to adjust the green manually like so until all the greens are killed. Accuracy is not important here. Being a perfectionist at this stage serves only to waste your time. Now choose screen mat under view and see if everything checks out. Most likely you will have to adjust the clip white parameter to make sure that all opaque stuffs are white. Remember, you are not seeking perfection at this stage. The only thing you need to take care of is that the mat does not cut into your body excessively. A little bit is fine, it is whatever really. It's a garbage mat, so chillax. Now choose Final Render under View again, go to Layer, Auto Trace, and match this settings. Click OK, wait for the tracing to complete, and you will have yourself a new layer. Delete the old layer, drag the original video below the newly generated layer like so. Select Luma or Alpha Matte here, it doesn't matter. And voila! Now apply Simple Choker to the generated layer and decrease Choke Matte until you have a healthy amount of green halo around the individual, like so. Now we just need to remove any other bullshit by masking, like so. and export with the settings. Hit render. 
Garbage mat done. Now for the actual keying process. From now on, we'll be dealing exclusively with the exported garbage mat. Reset your After Effects projects accordingly. This technique that I'm about to teach you, repeat as many times as you need to get the perfect key from even the most impossibly bad green screen. This technique will not work if you try to finish it at one go. The result will be inferior. The end product is directly proportional to how much time you're willing to spend breaking it down hue by hue. I personally just do it twice because I'm trying to find that fine line between being a perfectionist and just plain spending way too much time on my chroma keys, which I am already am spending way too much time on. Here goes. Step 1. Apply key light to your garbage mat. Pick a green. Select screen mat under view and adjust click white until all the opaque areas are white. Don't touch anything else. Return the view to final result. Step 2. Drag another original garbage mat down below the key light layer and select alpha mat. Yes, there will be some greens remaining, unless of course your green screen is perfect. Now select the two layers and pre-compose them. Repeat step 1 and 2 again until you run out of patience or your desired level of perfection is reached. There is only one small downside to this tedious technique that achieves perfect cutout. Because we are not using key light as the final output, your object will still have a green hue. Why didn't you just use key light's natural ability to remove green cast instead of doing all this alpha matte bullshit, you ask? Well, that is a valid question. I'll let you see it for yourself. Can you see it? If you couldn't see it, then go ahead and use key light to remove your green cast. I don't care. But if you do see how noisy the result is, you'll stay away from key light's green cast removal the same way I stay away from the cool kids. They uh, tend to beat me up for being a dork. Fortunately, Removing a green overcast is extremely easy. But I will leave that short adventure to you seeing that I've already given you the golden ticket. <laughs> See you soon.